I know there really isn't much of a motto for the River City Commandos, or a motto, I mean, for the Commandos, because, hey, point blank, all we do is win championships. The last two seasons speaks for itself as we're gearing up for our third championship this season. But one thing I really appreciate what Coach Steve has said, too, is, hey, you want to be good or you want to be great? And pretty much just think about that line right there as far as that. I don't think a lot of the guys, too, and I know whoever sees this down the road or, um, you know, see this video down the road will uh, pretty much understand a little bit where I'm coming from with that statement. And uh, the reason why I say that is not so much – for on the field, but off the field as well. I mean, like I said, you guys have done uh, a back up last two seasons. No doubt in my mind that we're going to go after it again this season as well. But um, for um, not so much on the field, well, it will help on the field as well too, but off the field even tremendously is uh, when it comes to that statement, you want to be good, you want to be great. I've uh, done a lot of... Um, personal development over the last few years, too, as well, being in the home-based business profession. And uh, one of the things they always teach us is doing a lot of reading and a lot of listening to audios. One post I saw from one of the corners, one of the companies I've been to, and the, uh, it makes so much sense, too, and it's true, because I've seen it with some other leaders as well, is, uh, you know, you listen, read books daily, obviously personal development books, um, listen to audio too, same thing, personal development, and just go attending events, and you'll be shot with the 10 years from now, the person that you are today will not be the same then. And it does hold true. And the reason why I say that, again, especially for my teammates or fans or coaches too that are watching this, is because uh, I know personally, I've been, uh, since I've been reading some, uh, a lot of books as of lately, and especially for the commandos who are a championship team, I know Phil Jackson, I think he used to do this too for the, uh, the Lakers. I'm too sure for the Bulls as well. So, you know, pretty much giving them books. Uh, pretty much just to help them mentally, not so much physically. Because, it, you know, we have it physically, talking about the commandos. We got it. We're gifted physically. I, I don't know if a lot of these guys, the young guys, see it right now for this 2014 season. But it's scary. Once everything does start clicking, what we could do together as a team. Some of the stuff that this works on, basically your subconscious mind, was um, one of the books that I first started reading, too, Magic of Thinking Big by David Swartz, David J. Swartz, real good uh, book. Not so much, again, not so much for finances, but, uh, again, this mentally is just preparing you. And it holds true for anything, anything. I, I let my brother start reading some of these books, too, since he's an Olympic weightlifter. He uh, played football in high school as well, and I just saw his lips do this like crazy when he started reading some of these books. So, you know, I'm just uh, throwing it out there, too. It's almost like a hint, hint, because the stuff does work once you apply it, too. You know, so guys might be joking, like, man, I don't feel like reading a book. Okay, that's fine, but uh, I'm talking to, um, and I'm listening to people that are making uh, millions in, like I said, the home-based business profession, and it's not because of luck. And uh, obviously not because of hard work. It's also that does the hard work does play a part, but it's just applied some of the stuff some of these guys are uh, putting in these books. Another one, too, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Napoleon Hill, author of uh, Think and Grow Rich, but it's not so much about oh, getting rich for our own money and everything, which is a lie. Just uh, say that when it comes to taxes, too, when it comes to paying taxes. But this is also as far as the thinking part. Pretty much anything you want to do is just uh, from a thought, hands down. There's another good book that I just got finished reading, uh, from Napoleon Hill, The Master Keys of Riches. Again, this stuff's working on your subconscious mind, finding a lot of stuff that, you know, from the society that we hear, and it's pretty much garbage, doesn't really do anything for us. So this, uh, we're working on this on that part of your brain as far as, oh, okay, making, you know, just decisions, forming great habits. And pretty much from the Master Keys of Riches, it talks a lot of that as well, isn't it? Right now, the book that I'm reading uh, just started, so I say, and he's good friends with Donald Trump. Robert Kiyosaki, why A students want to be uh, C stu work for C students. And it's not so much if you're an A, if you're an A student, at, talk about academics or a C student, 
but uh, it's talking about A as in the academic part, C as in capitalists as well. That's what he means by that too. So it's almost like why academic students work for capitalist students. Pretty much people are this, again, this apply themselves too, and uh, they're the ones that are the business owners that help create jobs too. But the question is that he uh, brings up is why in the world are people that are uh, not so much great in the classroom, but why are those people that are great in the classroom working for people that, to be honest with you, they're not, they weren't great in the classroom. They just start applying. That's not, just, that's not for every person. But I'm just saying, just, there are people that applied some of the stuff, going back to personal development, that uh, just decided to just do something different for themselves. It's all a decision, point blank. The reason, again, why I'm saying this for you guys, for talking about the commandos, is because, hey, you want to be good or you want to be great? It's not so much what we're doing on the field, but what are we putting in our heads as well, which can make us even greater. So uh, that's the reason why I said that. I mean, that's the reason why I also have it down here as far as the title of, of this uh, video. Not so much talking about uh, so much the commandos, but what are we feeding our minds as well. Okay, uh, also too, when I'm talking about some of these people, I said uh, Robert Kiyosaki, multi-millionaire, also good friends with Donald Trump. They have the same 24 hours in a day. So um, what we want to give those limited, uh, these, uh, limit, be these self-limiting beliefs as far as, oh, they'll have time or uh, whatever it is. Come on now. They got the same 24 hours as we do. I mean, we got the same amount of uh, time in the day to obviously uh, go to practice, bust our butts, too, and obviously work for championships. But it's not, again, that's not so much not so much on the field, but off the field as well. That's the reason what I'm trying to get my point across on this video. So if this is something to really think about, too. Not saying you guys have to do that, but, again, it's pretty good information, too. Not so much the financial side, but also just working on what we can do on the field. And uh, it all pretty much starts in the head, too. You know, coming back from injuries or, uh, you know, bumps and bruises, going through bad days, heck, even helping out in some relation in relationships too, a lot of that stuff. Some of those books that I just listed out too, they can help out. But it's just only when you're applied to them. You just read them for just to read it or whatnot, and uh, then like, uh, it hasn't worked for me. Hey, I'm not um, gonna say everything is uh, gonna be perfect just because you read the book. You got to start applying this stuff as well. And again, the reason why I have to the title on the, the videos because a lot of you guys want to be nosy and whatnot, want to mess with me as far as making these clips. But hey, I'm not going to stop. I told you I was going to keep on coming with this stuff. And I'm just pretty much giving a little bit of what I, what I do pretty much off the field as well. This will make me better on the field. So again, uh, something to think about. And this, uh, get ready for a great season. I know we won our game 75 nothing today, but <clears throat> again, we can always be better. You don't. You want to be good. Or you want to be great. I plan on being great, personally. So I know I got to do a lot more work to get to that point, and I'll get there too. So uh, looking forward to finish off the season the way I know we should, and I'll talk to you guys later.